Hi everyone, this is Maheshwari from my STEM garden. Welcome to my uh, video. So today I'm just going to do a, a fancy fold. And I'm just going to use my base card um, soft succulent. This is one of the um, color it's going to retire. And for the designer series paper, I'm just going to use the new Hello Wrist. And for the designer series paper, I'm just going to use the new online exclusive Hello Irist Irist-stable. Hello Irist Irist stable and for the designer series paper i'm just going to use the hello irritable and for the designer series paper i'm just going to use the current online exclusive one and this is the stamps that i'm just going to use okay let me show the card here is the card how cool is this actually the the card full credit goes to megan She's um in our in my applying team. She did a class using this beautiful fancy fold. Okay, so let's get started now. The first thing I'm just going to get my paper trimmer. So the first thing I'm just getting my soft circle and base card, and I'm just getting my paper trimmer, and I'm just going to mark. At 7.5 which is from the back side okay I hope you guys can see and top and bottom as well I'm just marking at 7.5 on top and bottom so I'm just going I'm using a4 cardstock so the measurements are different for Imperial so now I'm just going to um, mark at the center here which is exactly like um, 7.4 okay so you can see two mark line now i'm just going to use uh, my scoring blade to join those two lines and the same thing here this point to that point hope you guys can clearly understand now done so now I'm just going to fold these two of of the score lines now keep my stamp and cut and emboss machine aside and I'm just going to get my bone folder because the lines need to be creased very crisp way okay so I'm just doing it now I'm just going to use um, this designer series paper now I'm just going to cut just getting my paper trimmer again and now I'm just going to cut exactly at four centimeters. Or ten point two or sorry, four inches or ten point two centimeters, okay? And then I'm just going to cut that exactly half. So we have two pieces. Keep and then we are going to cut this again at half so there is no measurements so four inch cut at half half okay this is the easy way Done. two pieces so I'm just going to attach this piece here on top using glue and press it done now you can see pocket here you can just keep a gift card anything on the packet okay so the next time just going to attach the 
basic weight cardstock inside and then the next adding the small piece of the triangle on each corners just like this you can use any um, designs of designer series paper whichever you like so I'm just adding the two triangles here I just forgot to add glue it's okay first let me stick this piece fine and let me add some glue again and stick it to the inside If you want, you can decorate on the flop using the designer series paper, but I just don't want to. I feel this is um, more than enough. Okay, so you can see now it's closing. And the next step, I'm just going to add another small piece of designer series paper, which I'm just going to cut exactly at one inch by 14 point sorry 2.5 by 14.6 if I'm right yep. don't worry about all the measurements I will just add everything on my blog so adding glue and stick the piece on the side here make sure is everything is stick perfectly the next step I'm just going to stamp the leaves using the ink soft succulent and the ink is all also going to retire the whole color such a beautiful pretty color you know I'm just getting the stamp the leaves one Either you can just pick um, the two leaves or the three of uh, one. So anything will be fine. I'm just going to pick the three leaves. And I'm just going to stamp it on the business series paper. Maybe if you want, you can just try on basic weight cardstock. So I need uh, totally two of the leaves. done let me get the die cut piece if you don't have the dies you can use your paper snip scissor to fussy cut the leaves let me show the dies which I used this is the one I used um, I'm just going to cut the leaves using my stamp and cut an emboss machine once you die cut those two leaves, keep these two pieces aside. Now I'm just going to stamp the sentiment here using the same ink soft succulent. I'm going to use the sentiment I like you. The next step I'm just getting the basic white baker's twine and I'm just doing a single bow. It's a double bow actually. It's not a single bow. Just doing two loops. Oh my god it's not rotating why. <laughs> yes. So putting that inside and just pull it done the double bow is ready now I'm just going to stick the piece before that I'm just going to attach the leaves here using glue and stamping dimensional the first leaf I'm just going to use the glue 
I'm just arranging and have a look just adding dimension on the one piece and glue on the next just arranging and I'm just planning to stamp the sentiment before that I'm just going to attach the double bow using glue dots and adding the sentiment on top using some stamping dimensional and I'm just adding like this way it looks okay for me yep stick that one On the next time just getting the embellishments the loose uh, frosted gems and I'm just going to add the pretty peacock um, ones before adding the pretty peacock I'm just checking with other colors as well so I'm just adding glue before placing the the pretty peacock gems two here so the no I don't want the rose ones I'm just trying to get the bigger piece yep done and I need two more again getting the bigger one and just mix and match everything here just place it another small pretty peacock one yeah yes I'm happy done so now I'm just moving all other pieces away and you can just write your sentiment or stamp anything else inside but I feel this is more than enough and let me show the another card which I made using the same sweet look at here I just um, used a pretty peacock ink for the leaves here and I just used the pretty peacock for the sentiment but all the measurements everything is same a different color combo I don't know which one you like I like this one better than that okay so hope you guys like today's um, video don't forget to um, click the like and subscribe button see you soon guys with another great tutorial until then bye from Ageshwari see you bye bye